It's all over. It's in every town and every city. It's in villages. These are children often from very difficult backgrounds. Now fuck your mother! You dirty you bastard! Are, you are an absolute Go get wrong. your fucking men! You are an absolute Go wrong. get your men! Go fuck you your been... dead mother! Go get your men! You have been to jail. You've them. been to jail for what? Go You've been to jail for what? Get them. Were you on rules 43? Fuck you and fuck your dead mother! <laughs> Sunbed shop, Jimmy Savile, man. Oh, Jimmy Savile, it's Sunbed shop! They're everywhere. They're all over town, every shop. Every time I go to town, I see at least one of them. The problem in this country is so monumental that it's far easier to pretend it's not there. What is this place that you're taking me to? You just talk me through it. It's where sexual activities happen. But Maggie Oliver says the police have not learned lessons. In the past year alone, we've helped more than 2,000 victims. These are all desperate victims who have been abused and are being fobbed off by the authorities. How and many of them are saying, the police aren't helping me? How, how many of those 2,000 well, say, I'm not getting any help from the police? Just think about it. Why would they come to us if they were being helped? If all of the authorities involved had been less concerned with their own agendas and prejudices and kept their focus on the children's welfare, some of these children might not have suffered the abuse and brutality. They were just drinking and chatting and stuff like that, and then it quickly changed to get on the pool table, and they just started doing things, sexual things. The attitudes towards these kids are that they don't matter. Also, Tony Birkid, I contacted police and social services yesterday. Mm -hmm. They have significant concern about Tony Birkid, to be next to my daughter, Daniel Kerry was saying that he won't allow Tony Birke to be next to my daughter. Yeah, I know the recordings on my video <laughs> saying it. They, they say he is significant harm. Uh, they wouldn't say that Daniel wouldn't say to police that he won't allow Tony to his house if nothing bad is there. Mm -hmm. So I am sure something is there. I am. I. I am still speechless here and heartbroken about my baby girl who was groomed to gang.